Welcome, Eagles, to Trad Cat Night, your one-stop website for all of the day's latest church apostasy and end-time news. This is your number one ranked traditional Catholic outlet specializing in the real third secret of Fatima. Trad Cat Night is featured all over the alternative media circuit and has the most listened to and most influential podcast radio show available within the Catholic world. Trad Cat Night's guest list is second to none. Search Trad Cat Night across any major social media outlet for daily information and visit tradcatnight.org, the fastest growing end times community available in the market. So what's it going to be, Eagles? Fear or faith? Flight or fright? Join me as we head deep into the darkest night. Welcome, Eagles, to another edition of Tran Cat Night Breaking News right here on the Tran Cat Night YouTube channel, folks. Today is October the 21st, 2019. I hope you are having a very wonderful and blessed day. I hope to see more of you over at trancatnight.org at the conclusion of this short little segment, folks. Uh, for right now, for those of you looking for the live chats, I have temporarily suspended those uh, for those who are interested in, in getting my daily podcast you'll find that over at trancatnight.org uh, again 25 to 50 posts going out on a regular basis uh, there's not another traditionalist site like it another catholic website uh, like it out there with all of the different rabbit holes that i cover in this new world order end game it's highly interactive there's message boards chat rooms uh, my own articles uh, are seen there in analysis I'm podcasting Monday through Saturday. Just today alone, I had three guests on today. There's numerous resource pages, including uh, links to the Three Days of Darkness page, wherein you can pick up sacramentals from Kathleen Loney. And uh, we've got an awful lot to discuss here. I'll try to be as brief as I can, just to get everyone caught up as to what is going on uh, with Trad Cat Night. Uh, today, we had Xavier Aral on the program with a podcast entitled Is Garib Bendal Legit? And the warning is close. So we got an update from Xavier Aral, who, of course, just finished his book on prophecy, uh, highlighting the prophecies of Marie Julie Jehenny. Uh, we talked about the Amazon Synod, the letter of Padre Pio to Garib Bendal. Is Garib Bendal uh, legit? What about this apparent synod warning that was detailed at Garabandal? We talked about other Catholic prophecies indicating that the time is right for a correction for humanity, and that's to put it mildly. Now, I also had on the program today, first time guest, Angelo John Gage, and we discussed uh, Zionism. Uh, we went into his, build, uh, his background, military experiences. Uh, we asked the question, are all neocons Zionists? Uh, just in general, we cover what is wrong with Zionism. We talk what's wrong with Trump, uh, who is an uber Zionist. Uh, we talk with Angelo's dealings with the Zionist uh, trolls right there on his Twitter page. And he's got an up and coming Twitter account. I think it has like 30,000 uh, followers. We talk censorship, police state matters. Uh, Angelo's a very sharp guy. And uh, look for him on future broadcasts. I may even do his show too in the not so distant future. I also had on Daniel DiMartino. Uh, an economic uh, analyst, uh, frequently featured on uh, Fox Business. And uh, this one was entitled Economic Storm Brewing and Entrepreneurial Spirit Growing. So it's always good to get Danielle uh, back on the show. Folks, listen, if you haven't yet checked out the movie yet, the Marie Julie Jehenny movie has now been up for a, uh, a week and it has far surpassed my expectations uh, for the one week period that it's been up. If you get over to tradcatnight.org, it's like the fourth post down uh, on the timeline, fourth or fifth post, uh, and I left it up. Uh, it's not behind the paywall, so you can get direct uh, access. You can go ahead and link to it, check it out. Uh, everyone has really thoroughly uh, enjoyed it, and I look forward to working on my next video, uh, next movie, which will be called To Deceive the Elect, working off of Father Kramer's book. Now. As I mentioned, my own articles and analysis are only seen at trancatnight.org. And I put up an awful lot of uh, articles just this past week. But just to highlight a few, I had one entitled End Time Homebodies. Uh, so for those of you who are kind of uh, busy bodies and uh, you like to move to and fro and you travel an awful lot, well, that time is just about uh, ending as we're getting closer and closer to global martial law being declared and uh, I go into one specific prophecy of our Lord to Marie Julie Jehenny to indicate how we need to be getting our homes ready and ready 
right now. I also had an article uh, from this past week entitled The Antichrist, His Star Sign, and the New Jerusalem. And for those who have been following the Trad Cat Night Apostle for quite some time, I always try to give an update in terms of the sequencing of events as I'm processing more information. Uh, and again, I'm virtually the only Catholic, uh, as you know, warning that the Antichrist is arriving onto the scene. How many Catholics made fun of me just uh, five years ago? Not so funny anymore after we're seeing the whole uh, paganistic uh, implosion of the Vatican, which is an, uh, a big red flag to indicate that not only are we living in the end times, but that the Antichrist is right, right around the corner. So I was the first, one of the first, if not the first, uh, to say that in the Catholic world. I also was the first to tell you Benedict XVI uh, was the true Pope. Now, in some more recent uh, research, I came across from the New Age perspective uh, some details as they are awaiting their Christ, and it ties in with the whole alien agenda, the New Jerusalem that we're talking about, and uh, you're not going to want to miss that. I had a few people emailing me afterwards who did not know <laughs> a lot of these details, uh, and it's, so you are not caught off guard when all of this starts happening, and of course, it'll be pitched on mainstream media. And uh, we've got to continue to pray. Unfortunately, there's an awful lot of people uh, still thinking that Francis is the problem. Uh, again, the Cardinal Burks of the world, the Cardinal Sh uh, Sh uh, excuse me, Sarahs of the world still have to convert. They're still following Vatican II, which prompted me to write another article this week how Vatican II, not the Amazon Synod, is the basis for new church. And since I've mentioned uh, Marie Julie Jenny, a little over a week ago, I put out an article uh, many people are not aware of this prophecy of Marie Julie Jehenny, but she indeed talked about these signs on the sun, spots on the sun. It ties in with, uh, you know, Matthew 24, Luke 21, the book of Daniel, the apocalypse, uh, but very eerie details uh, to look for. And I'm pretty close to resigning uh, Ben Davidson from Suspicious Observers to come back on the program uh, in November. I want to ask him about this certain prophecy and how it parlays over scientifically uh, into what we're seeing with the sun in recent times. Uh, but in any case, uh, you will want to check that out. Now, in terms of guests uh, forthcoming, and again, uh, for those of you new to Trad Cat Night, I bring on the top guests, uh, you know, from around the world uh, covering all topics. I'm the only Catholic website that does this. I mean, I'm not just going to cover theological matters. I leave no stone left unturned. Uh, but for tomorrow, I've got uh, Anthony uh, West coming on to the program, Catholic apologist. Uh, 23rd, James Fetzer, Gerald Salente joins me. 24th, Wayne Jett, Tiffany Fitzhenry, first-time guest, Terrell Blackstar. 25th, Jill Colton, Robert Sungenis. 26th, Gary Wayne, Paul Stark from the Vatican Deception. 28th will be Mark Dankoff, Father Voigt, Dr. Duke Pesta. 29th, Charlie Robinson, Marshall Masters. And first-time uh, Catholic journalist, uh, I hope I'm not butchering her name, Ibn Thurabolan. Uh, and I'm doing my best to pronounce it. She's a close friend of Hannah Herland, who comes on to uh, my show uh, on a monthly basis. Looking forward to getting her on the show. The 30th is going to be Monsignor Perez, also a uh, popular con conservative um, writer and podcaster. Eric Margolis uh, joins me. 31st is going to be Father Kramer, and that's probably going to be a video interview. You're not going to want to miss that one. Uh, these are just some of the names o over the next uh, 10 days or so that will be joining me on the program. I'm always adding names. Uh, on a daily basis. I'm, I'm pretty much booked all the way through the third three weeks into November. So again, come visit us over at tradcatnight.org. If you look in the description box right now of this video on YouTube, I'm going to leave two uh, important links. The direct link to the Marie Julie Jihadi movie. So all you have to do is click it so you can uh, rent it or buy it. And then the second one is going to be the direct link to the tradcatnight.org website so you can sign up. I hope to see a whole lot of you uh, on the other side of this briefing. Folks, until next time, stay safe. God bless. Ave Maria.